Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another video. You are at the We All Juggle Knives channel. In this video, I'm going to compare three flashlights. The Olight Seeker 2 Pro, the Thrunite T2, and the WowTac A4V2. All right, this is going to be a flashlight shootout. All right, now the pricing on these. I just checked the price just today on Amazon. The Olight is going for $140. Okay, so that's that's pretty expensive. That's like the premium brand, $140. The Thrunite is going for $70. And the WowTac is going for $50, all right? So we're going to see these, you know, head-to-head -head in the demonstration. But as far as the head-to-head -head in the pricing, uh, WowTac is the budget brand, definitely. All right, another means of comparing these is compactness. I got to say, that Thrunite T2 definitely wins in the compactness department very easy to carry. So if you're looking something that's for something that's going to be convenient everyday carry or every night carry, definitely consider that. It's very bright for its size. Now the reason I'm comparing the Olight and the Thrunite is because those both use the 21700 size lithium ion battery. So basically I know the stats on these are not trying to be the same but I'm comparing them because they use the same battery uh, size. Now, WowTac, I don't have a light from WowTac that uses a 21700, so I'm just going to compare this because this uses a 26650, right? That's why it's a little bit, a little bit chunkier, but it's still roughly around the same size, a little bigger. And also, this is a lot more of a thrower than these two. Uh, so it's probably going to do very well on the longer range part of the video, but I just like throwers, all right? I just felt like putting it in, so I'm putting it in. So let's we'll see how these do. All right, I'm going to keep this simple. There's going to be a short range like demo and a long range demo. Uh, the Olight is probably going to do very well at the uh, shorter range, I would say, just because... Uh, it's very bright, and it also has a very good flood effect. And I would expect the thrower, even though this is the least bright of all these, this is the least bright, but at long range, it's going to put more of its light on target. So, yeah, that, that should be a superstar at the longer range part. All right, I've already, I've already done the... Uh, testing of course so let me roll in that footage and then we'll be back to discuss all right youtube here is the olight looking over frog creek and wow it is definitely bright you can see everything down there you can see see the water wow all right let me just strobe it around the opposite bank down the creek up to the treetops yeah, definitely doing an excellent job at lighting up this whole scene. Wow. All right, that was the Olight. Pretty high quality brand. All right, YouTube, here is the through night flashlight. Again, lighting up Frog Creek. And it's doing an excellent job too. The opposite bank down the creek, up to the treetops, and again, you can see, see bubbles in the water, definitely, yeah, this is a, a tough competitor against the Olight, the through night. All right, that is the through night at Frog Creek. And here is the WowTac overlooking Frog Creek. Now, as you can see, this is a more focused light, so this closer range might not be its best, its best event. But, you know, each thing has its uses. But that beam, wow, super bright, at least in the hot spot. Yeah, you can see everything. Nice. Let me strobe it around the opposite bank, cutting through like a lightsaber. Up to the treetops, easily tags the highest trees. Down the creek.
Yeah, pretty awesome. All right, so that is the Wow Tack overlooking Frog Creek. Okay, YouTube, we're at the sports field now, and this is the O light. Got a little haze in the air. I can see the goal very clearly with my naked eyes. I'm not sure if the camera can, but I will point it right there, and you can peer into your computer screen and see if you can see it. But it's definitely lighting up the goal for me. Yeah, I don't know if you, I don't know if the camera can focus. Yeah, I can see it. I can just barely see it through the viewfinder. All right, but that counts. All right, so that's the O light crossing the field. All right, YouTube, this is the through night crossing the sports field. And again, I can see the goal clearly with my naked eyes. I don't know how well the camera can see it. I can't really see it through the viewfinder very well. But, you know, the, the results are the results. All right, so, yeah, it's definitely a little hazy tonight. But, in any case, this is the through night in a 100-meter field. Okay, YouTube, this is the Wow Tack. And, yes, the Wow Tack is definitely doing the best, as was well, predictable, because it does have the longest range, but... But we kind of knew that would happen, but I really like throwers. I really like this wow tack and the price is right. Yeah, so you can see that. Yeah, I can even see that through this little little viewfinder, even through the haze. Yeah, excellent. So if you need something for long range, definitely consider this. All right, we are back. I hope you like that. So the Olight, I got to say, did really well at the close range event at Frog Creek. It definitely lit up everything. That old light is very bright and it's really good at just lighting up a whole scene. The Through Night T2 also did pretty well at that event, but keep in mind, the Through Night, half the price of the old light. That's, that's twice the price of that, so you're gonna have to, I, I don't know what budget you're working with, but just factor in the price, but those both did really well at the uh, closer range thing. Now at the longer range event, definitely, of course, this has a much longer max beam distance. Oh, if you want to know the stats on these, check the links in the text description box and you click on the link, it'll show you all the stats at a glance, just more convenient like that way. But basically, the wow tack is the least bright, but because it's more focused, at that 100 meter demonstration, it put more light on the actual target, right? Because it's a thrower, it's got that, that big, big and deep smooth reflector. So that's a superstar in the longer range department, and it's only $50, the least expensive of all of these. Now, one other thing to keep in mind, that Olight actually comes with this very nice like recharging dock, so that's like super convenient. So that's a, something in favor of the Olight, but, the through night actually has type C rapid charging. So consider that as well. And like I said, through night definitely wins in the compactness and easy to carry department. So it really just depends what you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? But basically a lot of people buy Olight after they try a cheaper brand and a cheaper brand doesn't work for them. And they say, all right, I'm willing to spend whatever it is I just want a really high quality light, that's usually, Olight is usually not the first light people buy. People come to it after like a little journey. That's, I've heard that story many, many times. So, but I would understand if you don't want to, if you don't want to start off with a, a light that's that, that pricey necessarily. Uh, Through Night and WowTac, both very good brands, very closely related. A lot of people start off with WowTac, and if they like their WowTacs enough, sometimes They'll get into the through nights, which are a little more pricey, but often offer uh, a little more, a little more bells and whistles. Like I said, that thing is compact. It has rapid recharging, and it, it is a little more expensive than a WowTech, but definitely less expensive than the uh, premium priced brands. So, you know, it just depends where you're at. Me personally, I like throwers. I'm into the throwers. 
All right, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this little flashlight shootout. All the relevant links will be in the text description box if you wish to shop for flashlights or check out the stats or check out the websites of these various companies. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.